so welcome back <laughs> sorry uh something happened here with my technical issue uh, etc so we are back we are back and uh, we are gonna have not so smooth transitions yeah i had to we're gonna do manual switching between the the uh, different cameras anyway uh today we're gonna look at the geek vape f1 nay no, one fc yeah pod kits which was sent to me this time from geek vape itself apparently we are getting noticed a little bit uh okay without much further ado let's dive down on my on my desk and we are gonna check what's in the box now here we go that's the device actually i could use with a little bit of more zooming out and let's remove the branding as well this yeah okay so that's how the kick looks like uh geek vape one fc rainbow color yeah we have two mil battery capacity 550 on this side we have the geek vape on the back all the warnings and table of contents logo that's it okay let's unpack this thing i haven't even tried it as i said it's here i'm unpacking it haven't watched any youtube videos or something etc et myself okay now okay in the box we have another box then we have here a little bit of reading material we have the warning card we have the warranty card which needs to be filled out and then we have the user manual as well so user manual comes in lots of different languages i assume uh, we have Okay, let me see how much we okay we have english one page two page three pages four pages yeah four and a half pages that's it all the instruction manual yeah but it comes in lots of different languages like german french spanish italian russian as well although russia is not not uh, <laughs> not loved by anyone in this world right now uh, Danish also, Dutch language, and uh, Bahasa, whatever it's supposed to be. I don't know where this language is spoken. If anybody knows where this language is spoken, Bahasa, <laughs> can write me in the comments, okay? Now, that's about the paperwork. Let's take a look at the device. So device looks like this. This is a shiny uh, fingerprint magnet. As you can see, my fingerprints are already on it. So shiny uh, rainbow chrome kind of finish on this alumi aluminum. You see, it's actually, you can see my fingerprints all over it. So this is definitely a fingerprint magnet. Yeah, you can perfectly see all the fingerprints there. But anyway, I'm going to keep it in my pocket. So if I have some fingerprints on it, as soon as I slide it in my pocket, you know, it's going to be uh, cleaned off. Uh, okay. Uh, but as such, it's actually a bit long. But really nice looking pod, pod device, yeah? yeah? Really nice looking pod kit. Okay. What else we have here in the box? We have a USB cable. And I reckon that's going to be white USB cable with orange elements to it. Same, yep, yeah, it's the same USB and USB C type. So they say that through this USB C type charger, you can charge this device in 15 minutes. Okay, I'll have to check it out then later. Yeah, uh, when I deplete this charge, it comes with from the factory and we have here another come on we have here another pod so we have one pod on it and then another pod is a spare let's see if they have any different yeah they are different two pods okay this this little we have to remove so we have 0 0.8 ohm 12 to 16 watts already uh, attached to the device and the other one is 1.2 ohm 
8 to 12 watts. I already told in my previous video, I don't have these wattage settings because these pods you cannot put on any other device. So why they indicate the wattage, I don't know. Because here you can't really change the wattage as well so much, yeah. Um, okay, here are three settings I can see, yeah. Uh, but still, um, you can still write 1.2 ohm wattage. Okay, if somebody thinks it's important, then maybe it is important. Uh, it wouldn't be so important for me. Now, one thing I noticed in straight away, this top part, you see, it's shaped, interestingly shaped, and the same shape we have Kalna also on the pod. So on this side, we have kind of knurling going on here. I think it's because that should slide in here. It's just maybe easier to pull it out. No, it actually it's submerged in there. Why is that? I haven't a clue unless they want, you see, you cannot even put it in other way around, only this way uh, around it goes in. So they must have some kind of, ah, okay. No, actually, I can see this is dual dual fire. Yeah, obviously we can fire with the fire button. And also I see here the draw activation sensor, which is uh, this this little metallic thing there yeah that is the sensor for the draw activation and i would understand if the air intake would be only on one side like here this is the air intake yeah just on one side but we do have it also on the other side so that's why i don't understand why they made this so that you can put it in only one way i think it's just a design design thing yeah um the draw activation would work also through that whole no, so it, it stays the matches the the sensor in there i can see yeah this is this little sensor down there okay now what else we see there we see our plus and minus positive negative contacts what we see else is that here we have a little area where potential juice or something yeah all like this you can see yeah this is deepens, you have like a little deck in there. So that's where all the excess juice condensation might accumulate itself. And it's it's on the level below this sensor. Yeah, that sensor needs to be above that so that it's no liquid is going into it. If the liquid goes into it, that might interfere with the out of fire. Uh, we can might get different problems with it, okay? Now that's from for for this side is everything. Now let's try to switch it on. Okay, let's take a look around. So as I said, fingerprint magnets. Here they have this kind of age style metal with leather. On this side we have the geek vape. On the bottom we have the charging port and some C markings. Yeah, Jesus, that's a really big fingerprint magnet. Uh, like this yeah we have this made in china designed by geek vape ce and then also the recycling uh, sign um that's pretty much it about it let's switch it on one two three four five is it on one two three four five it's not even switching on what's going on yeah it looks like it's not even such a on. Let me try to put it on a little bit of charge if something happens there. So I see I just plugged in a charger. And there is nothing going on here. So I think GFF has must must been sent me a dud or something. Okay. Ah, I've pushed it. Now I can see. There's some charge going on. Yeah, these three down here on the bottom, they are blinking. So there's some charge going on. Okay, I'll leave it for a minute and charge. And let's look at the pod. Let's put in a drop full of liquid and then see if, if this works, then it's going to be fine. If not, then <clears throat> geek vape. Quality control. Now, to uh, fill the pod, you will have to take off this mouthpiece. And here we have our big filling hole. 
that's the event where the um, vapor is getting out uh, of the pod, yeah, way, way to your mouth. And this is the little air escape hole there. So basically, as soon as you pour in the liquid, air can escape there, don't create any bubbles or something. Um, and that's pretty much it about this pod. It's, we can't change the coils, the whole pod changes here, yeah? Okay, let's put in there some juice. Uh, we're gonna be using we're gonna be using Paradise Lagoon yeah, today for my VG. Uh, I don't want to put in too much juice because I'm not sure if that device is gonna fire up at all. <laughs> so like halfway, yeah, and maybe a little bit of priming as well in there. Uh, two two drops directly in there, just to prime. Now we can stick. Oops, yeah, this mouthpiece as well goes only one way on it. Back on. So here we see it's still charging. No. I hope that the out of ah. Now I put in the pod and I recognize that I have the pod and now the red light changed to the green light. Yeah, I can see now the green light is charging. But still nothing happens. Okay, I see at least one bar is there for, for the charge. Uh, uh let's end this close up with with that uh try to vape so if it vapes then it's good yeah if it doesn't vape then yeah i have got that <laughs> okay let's see first no nothing let's take a pull nothing happening one two three four five oh no, no, okay, it was just depleted. As soon as I pulled out, see now it's it's working. Now let's see if Geekway does the same thing as as um Wupu, then I will be really disappointed. Yeah, because Wupu is always as soon as you plug it in the charger, you cannot puff and charge in the same things uh, same time. So let's see what happens now. Yeah, it's blinking again. It's charging. Now let's see. Oh, thanks God. It works. You can puff and charge in the same time. Okay. Uh, now let's take it off. One, two, three. Okay. Now I switch to the blue. With three clicks, we can switch between the power modes. Yeah. Uh, with this fire button. One, two, three. And now it's uh, on all three red. And those settings for those, uh, I'll just tell you in a second. With three clicks, we can swi uh, switch between the output wattage, three preset settings, and those settings are uh, green. Okay, it's voltage output, yeah? That at green is 3.7 volt output, blue is 3.4 volt output, and red is... Uh, 3.1 volt output. So right now I, I have it set at red. This is the lowest voltage output. Let's try to take a pull. Yeah, I can feel that um, um, kick in the back of the shoulder is not mm, nothing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, back to the green, which was 3.7 volt. Yeah, cloud is bigger as well. So for me, I think it's going to be only one setting. Yeah, the green setting. Okay, it's dying on me. Um, okay, I have to plug it in. Actually, it could be interesting now to see because it's dying on me. Uh, if it really charges in 15 minutes, but... Uh, I don't want you to sit here uh, and wait with me <laughs> yeah, for 15 minutes uh, to see if it's really charged that fast. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay, I have here some, some comments. Uh, you will not escape from me, Victor. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry. I apologize. My, my first, first uh, try, um, we have some technical difficulties. Okay. Azane, ciao, yeah, okay, 
Now, um, I'll leave it a little bit on charge. I can show you the GeekFest. Let's take a look at the GeekFest website. What do they say about um, this device? Here we go. And put it on full screen then. Yeah. So if you go on the, on the GeekVape.com website, you click on Aegis. Yeah, because this looks like it's Aegis series. Uh, and down here you have, you see the GeekVape one. This is, this is the pre-ancestor. And this is then the 1FC. This is the unit which uh, we are looking at today. All, all the colors, uh, world's first uh, fast charging vape pen. Yeah, they say 15 minutes. Uh, you see it here, yeah, fully charged in 15 minutes. Okay, want to see what else it has uh, again, 15 minutes fast charging. MTL experience, yeah, for those who does not know, MTL means not too long. This is a normal smoking vaping technique, yeah, uh, same as other smoke cigarettes. Uh, then 550 milliampere built-in battery, top fill, I just showed, three level adjustable power output, I showed it as well, yeah, three clicks to change them, drum activation and a bit fire button, dual, dual fire is also there. Okay, here we have all the colors, we have the black, the rainbow, the one I have right now, uh, gun metal, blue and silver, and then uh, just silver, I'm just gonna stay steel, silver, metal with the gray, it again fast charge only 15 minutes okay uh, yeah first vape pen we edge is design i mentioned that as well uh, optimized airflow and edges hallmark drop performance to increase the dur durability of Aegis first vape pen a stronger material zinc alloy uh, was introduced on its shell, more resistant to shock and scratches. Um, one pod, the leak proof pod. Okay, we'll have to check this. And uh, fire button. And here is the compressment. Give weight one. Yeah, and one FC. What's the difference between them? Uh, okay. Uh, Geekwave 1 had one LED, here we have three LEDs now, uh, fast charge, uh, 15 minutes on the 1FC, and uh, they say two days use uh, with the 780 built-in battery, so that was a larger battery, yeah, the first version was 780, now we have 550. Uh, 2 mil, 2 mil, the same thing, and here the voltage also the same thing. So the only thing that changes between the Geekwave 1 and 1FC is they, they put more LEDs, yeah, here we have 3 LEDs, and they decrease the battery I don't know why, but I, I don't know. It's up to Geekway, not not to me, uh, not up to me to decide. Now, um, actually, you can see while we are checking the Geekway's website, it already is like two bars are steady and only one blinking. This means it's like should be like over a half uh, full. So it is really kind of fast charging, yeah, with two ampere input, yeah. Okay. Let's disconnect and try to puff again now. No, with the fire button pressing. What I'm surprised about is how quiet it is actually. Okay, if you take a pull, then the air goes through it. But, but if, you know, when you press the button, you can hear it sizzling inside and it's really, really quiet. I have had all my previous pods, they're, they're much louder than actually this one. This is actually quiet. So, flavor. No, let's check flavor. And I have the same juice in, in this tank.
flavor is good yeah uh it is is better than the gtx which one i have in there oh 1.2 ohm coil in there yeah okay this coil is not so uh not so great uh, with the flavor compared to the 0 0.6 or 0 0.3 ohm yeah, in the gtx one um this is better definitely performing better flavor wise than this 1.2 ohm coil in here I like the design of it, the style. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the positive, negative things for the first unboxing and first trials. Is is okay. So um, positive. Then negative first. Negative first. Let's let's finish with positive. No. no okay. Uh, negative first. Uh, at least this shiny chrome rainbow one is really big fingerprint magnet. I'm looking now at you know uh, at it's just holding my hands. Looks dirty. <laughs> it just looks dirty. Okay. Um, I like the design. I just don't like this chrome rainbow, you know, shiny bling bling, but fingerprint magnet like there's no tomorrow. Okay. Uh, about the pod, I would actually prefer instead of having fancy kind of design elements, yeah, like these, yeah, these, I would actually prefer so that you could put it both ways in. Yeah, I don't see why it's only one way in. You can put it in. Don't see too much, too much um, interest. Um, now I see Bruno says it's because of the top airflow uh, inside the pod. That's why it's so quiet. Ah, look at the second pod. Careful to see how airflow works. And the airflow, airflow is. Airflow hole is here. Here is a little little hole. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, actually, uh, let's dive back down on the table. So we have a little airflow. Uh, that is the airflow. You see there? That's the airflow. Yeah, this little hole. Yeah, you put it in, and yeah, with this one up and the airflow. But there is nothing on the pod, you know, that it should be put only one way in to uh, allow the air to get in there. Because air is going... Yeah, air is going actually in there anyway. I can see. I can see... Yeah. Wait a second. I'll try to catch it again. Air is coming in through here, you see? There's like little light. Yeah, this is my finger moving over. That's the airflow hole. Yeah, from the inside. You can see it visually. Yeah. That is the that is the airflow hole. Uh so for the pod, it wouldn't really matter which way you put it in. Yeah. But they decided, okay, they decided to make this design. Okay. I find it's uh, a bit more tricky, a bit more confusing. Um, not a big fan of it myself personally it's big, but it's my, but maybe you know you're fine with it um now uh what else i can say good about this one uh, i like the nice kind of heavy feel obviously it's it's a zinc alloy uh it gives some weight uh and i have the feeling this might be a sturdy yeah if it falls yeah it gives you know it's quality kind of quality feeling giving it to me okay um dual fire i like it i'm using it uh, a lot uh on my other devices uh here let's see the, the on off uh, over display they have 10 seconds cutoff uh overheating protection protection if atomizer has shorted and uh, no atomizer and battery low protections they have in there uh, but i don't see the option to switch off 
the fire button and just use the automatic uh, auto draw. Yeah, basically, I would prefer to switch this off and just have only auto draw or switch it back on. You know, that kind of feature. I'm I'm a little bit missing this on it. You know, but although this button is not so much sticking out of it, I think if I keep it in my pocket, it it wouldn't fire if I sit down or something. Yeah, uh, it's not raised out far enough i think that that would be an issue um negative point for me i like actually the bling bling and the multi color idea but but the fingerprint magnet is is a little bit too big if we compare the length yeah it is longer than the than the calibon a2 yeah but just by tiny bits maybe like almost one centimeter even less yeah um weight of them both yeah this is light obviously this this has more um sturdy feel okay and the flavor is good actually the flavor is good airflow is not adjustable that support system uh i i wouldn't expect to have airflow adjustable in such a tiny device uh yeah my only negative point is um this design and uh, obviously I'll have to test it um, and 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 then I'm gonna make a decision if we're gonna stock these or not. Uh, by the way, if you are are interested for us to stock them, because I checked nobody in Ireland. At least I couldn't Google, you know, first page search. I checked for this uh, one FC, um, couldn't find any Irish website who are selling them yet. Not even us yet, yeah, because I say I wanted to check it out. Uh, and then I'm going to make a decision if we're going to stock it or not. But I can see this as a little bit kind of premium, premium, kind of a little bit more on the top notch, uh, top range uh, in the disposable pens because they are, uh, it's, it's a bit more classy looking. Uh, and about the prices, how much? If you have the question, I can tell you as well. One FC, I'll just check. Yeah, my my suppliers, wholesalers have them. Uh, price point would be okay. It depends whenever you shop, but but price point would be around there, 30, 35 euro for this kit. Okay. Uh, that would be around the, 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 the price uh, I, I would be charging for it as well. Okay. But again, every web shop is free to charge their own uh, but i would i would go with around that uh, 30 35 euro range okay uh bruno says it goes up uh, that whole like s shape uh, up and right and then down yeah yeah it's kind of interesting I, I saw that little animation on the geek Vapes website uh if you do not like this device you can send it to me i will tell you how great some plus it. okay yeah agree <laughs> if i don't like it i i can send it yeah but you will need pods for it okay cool okay then uh on this note i would say thank you very much i have see three people watching um thank you uh if you don't have any more questions or comments then i say thanks for watching and see you in two weeks definitely maybe a bit 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 sooner than that yeah okay keep it cloudy keep it positive and Slavo Ukrainian. <laughs>